Welcome to St. Martin, we give thanks and we await your visit. I'm Kevin Langery, professional kiteboarder, and I'm on St. Martin where I used to live 18 years ago, and I'm back to explore it. Well, I'm here on the island to go kite surfing, but for kite surfing you need wind, and sometimes you get a little bit unlucky, there's no wind. To me, a beautiful day is, you know, to start it in the water, and that's what I love about St. Martin. You're, every, every little bay has almost its own activity, you know, and the one bay you can go kite surfing, the other bay you can go stand up paddling, the other bay is better for sailing, and that diversity is really nice about the island, and that's what I enjoy. Since you can't really do um, kite surfing at the moment, you could do stand up paddle boarding. Is there a place here where I can get some yeah, boards? Yeah, really right around the corner there. You could get all the equipment, not no too way. expensive to rent. Sweet, I'm gonna go for a spin. Well, Thanks, man. Right, I'll thanks. see you later. To me, stand up paddling is a great way to explore new places and ride some waves and have some fun on the water. Stand-up paddling is such a great new sport. It's, it's fun, it's exciting, and it's very easy for everyone to do. You don't have to be a full-blown athlete or really well-trained. You can pretty much put anyone on the board and they can have fun within a couple minutes already. Well, that was a fun session. It's always good to uh, get your hair wet. Even though the waves weren't too big, it was still fun. Well, St. Martin is such a beautiful island, you know, it doesn't only have the beautiful water life, it also on the, on the land you can do a lot of cool stuff, like I'm going to go mountain biking and uh, next to kiting, it's one of the, the, the sports I love to do and uh, this island has to offer it all, you know, on and off the water, there's a lot of activities to do. If I go mountain bike, I want to go for it, you know, I want to sweat, I want it to be a workout. This island, you know, gave a start to my career. This is where I, this is where I came in contact with uh, with water sports for the first time. You know, this is where I started sailing on the other side of these mountains, and uh, yeah, it even gives me goosebumps thinking about it. So it's definitely a magical place. So today I'm in uh, Simpson Bay, and uh, I'm gonna do something very exciting. There's a local legend called Jeff. He's been shark diving for almost 15 years, I think. So. Yeah, we got a chance to go on a trip with him, and um, it's always great to be with an experienced guy. How are you? Very good, man. You Looks ready like... to shark dive? Yeah, a little bit nervous, but uh, I think you're the right guy, though. Well, I hope you won't be disappointed. I'm pretty I'm sure it's going to be taken care of you. Cool. Yeah, let's go. We're going to board the boat, and we're going to take you to the dive site. Sometimes divers, they have the tendency to move their arms, you know? And what happens is if you have on that moment a shark is swimming on your side, they can think it's a free snack flying around, you know? Yep. Just pull yourself your along lips. the bottom. The sharks, they always have their right of way. If, they, if you're going along the bottom and a shark is crossing, stop, let it pass, and you continue. 